166 kg pound. It's using first by the other red corner. This one is a mixed martial artist weighing in under 66 kg. We are now in the featherweight division. We have Scott Harvey out of SPG Charlestown taking on Next Gen Stuart Graham, a touch of the gloves. And we are on their way. The place is still buzzing after that Ian Gary knockout. Incredible stuff. But I have a sneaking suspicion these two gentlemen will be able to continue that momentum. Nice pressure work from Stuart Graham. And you would expect coming out of SPG Charlestown, training with the monsters out there as well. This is two great gyms squaring off. Oh, fire's just feeling one another out at the minute here, Phil. Give him one another looks and nice wide stance. Stuart Graham happy to occupy the center of the octagon. Scott Harvey happy to oh grab the leg perhaps. Was looking to kick out the lower leg. Switching positions now. Harvey has the center of the octagon. You can see it. It's a real feeling out process by both fighters here, but who can utilize their game plan first? Bit of a jab work and good combinations coming in there by Graham and Harvey landed his own, but nice little leg kick return from Stuart Graham. Both men very light on the feet. Nice lead jab there by Scott Harvey as well. That's why he's trying to his range finder. He's just popping that jab out there to see where Graham is. A lot of feints by him as well, trying to work his way in. Nice little short right there by Stuart Graham. Popped that off well and got out of the road. I'd like to see maybe supplement that with some kicks. Just as you call for a Harvey lands a couple of leg kicks and goes for a double and gets it. Beautiful level change there by Scott Harvey, Phil. Now speaking from experience, I know how quick Stuart Graham can be with those hips. Has a very tight armbar should he get the chance to transition into it. Looking to turn in and attack a single perhaps. Nice heavy hips from Harvey. And here he's spreading out wide there, getting a nice sprawl, but he's Maybe a little tighter there. He looked like he may have been setting up a Peruvian necktie. What a treat that would be to see in the Clan Wars cage. Just almost both are waiting for each other to make the move so they can counter each other. It's a real battle of wits right now. Scott Harvey just looking to work his way around to the back, gets one hook in. He's looking Possible for the body, body triangle. triangle. Yep. Doesn't quite have it. Defended by Stuart Graham. He's got to get that second hook in. He has. Excellent work now. He's looking for the triangle. He gets it. Secures the body it. triangle is on. Beautiful work by Scott Harvey. Stuart Graham needs to fight the hands here. At the minute he's preoccupied with the hand around the neck, he needs to watch for the hand connecting. Good work. That's a very tight body triangle. If you notice, he's trying to hook his foot in behind the kneecap of Stuart Graham to control him. Very intelligent jiu-jitsu from Harvey. Coming up here, land a couple of strikes, maybe just to try and soften up the next gen man. Good shots there, just to get him to think about it, trying to get the arms around the neck Big again. Strikes. He has done that. Excellent work. Get a 10 second clapper. Can Graham stay in? Scott Harvey, they, they both pushed and played to see what each other got, and Scott Harvey changed levels, got the takedown. You got to feel the SBG, Charlestown man. We'll probably get the nod on the judges' scorecards there, but a very interesting opening bout here, opening round in the bout with Scott Harvey and Stuart Graham. Yeah, both men are very intelligent martial artists. We can see that from the start, from the initial feeling out process, and then from the back tech from Harvey, he was able to hook his leg behind the kneecap of Stuart Graham, which is a very intelligent move when on the ground. But really, the standout moment of the fight was Scott Harvey changing level, getting the takedown and, and working his way to the back of Stuart Graham. Yeah, finishing in that position, having the back of your opponent, does leave an exclamation point on the round in the eyes of the judges. And rightfully so, it was a beautiful manoeuvre. And your referee, Mr. Dickie Larkin, just getting the cage cleared. We are almost ready to get round two on their way here at Clan Wars 30. 
in return to the Crown Plaza and we have been treated some fantastic fights already this evening. But round two is underway. Both men circle, jab to the body from Harvey. Maybe looking to bring Stuart Graham's attention down and land an overhand or a straight of his own up top. Nice stiff jab again. There's that overhand. He's almost using the jab and the follow-up right hand just to close the distance it looks that way. But it's Stuart Graham who has Harvey up against the cage here. Lands a knee in the meat of the thigh. Maybe looking to secure those double underhooks and get a takedown perhaps. Excellent work. Again. Excellent work by Harvey. Reverses and looking for his own double leg himself. Hands are classed. Takes Big him down. Slam from Harvey. Right in front of us here in commentary. Scott Harvey on top. Graham looking to push the head down. He's in side control here as well. Needs to tuck that knee in across the belly of Harvey if he wishes to reclaim half guard or guard. May end up giving his back up again. Excellent shots here by Harvey as well. Just punishing Stuart Graham every time he tries to move. Looking for the back. Sits up. He he's got one hook in me. Is he looking for the body it's triangle? It's getting the again? body triangle again. Lands a mount though. Beautiful work by Scott Harvey. But Stuart Graham not giving an inch. Still fighting. Lovely top control at the minute. Stuart Graham trying to use the cage to walk. And again, Scott Harvey's just got to be careful that he, he doesn't push off the cage and get rolled. That's Big. what he's trying to do. And out the back of Stuart Graham. Excellent work, Stuart Graham. But like white on rice, Scott Harvey stays on him. And now he's just staying cool and composed on top now here, Scott Harvey. What's he, what's he looking to do here, Phil? Work his way up to maybe possibly try to get mount again. He's covering the mouth of Stuart Graham, which is an old school technique, but he may be looking to isolate an arm here. He's pushing down on the legs of Stuart Graham, trying to transition in the side, which Beautiful. he's done successfully. And, again, and back in the mount. mount. Again, he's just got to be careful of pushing off the cage and Stuart Harvey landing some good shots on top this time. Stuart Graham is leaving both arms there for the arm bar, but he may be looking to sneak out the back once more, using that cage to wall walk. His arm is trapped here, but he can't push. He's almost out the back door, just about to pop his head out here, and he has done. Watch out for the knee bar. Stuart Graham is staying active. He's been in some bad positions in this one, but he is staying active and He's constantly threatening as well. In a bit of a no-man's land position right now. Stuart Graham may be looking to switch to a knee bar, grab hold of an ankle. Harvey just leaning down on the left bicep of Stuart Graham here. That's sort of stumping him from... And landing his strikes. Wonderful composure by Harvey. And back in the side with the strikes. We in half guard. Vision's a bit obscured. Just a knee shield there by Stuart Graham again. Just sort of keeping him in that position. But Harvey looking to step over that. Your 10 second clapper. And it, the back is there again. You can see Stuart Harvey looked like he was maybe going for Kamar on the opposite side. Maybe looking to hit the head arm. We're into full mount again. Big strikes from Mike. And again, Scott Harvey again, an excellent round by the SPG Charlestown man, landed in some great positions, but great defensive work by Stuart Graham and also threatening as well with subs. Uh, excellent showcase so far of mixed martial arts by both young fighters. Yeah, wonderful composure being shown by Scott Harvey, but as you say, Stuart Graham is by no means out of this. He's always dangerous on the ground, so may pull something out of the hat. What does Stuart Graham have to do here in the third round to turn this around? I'd like to see a little bit more striking from Stuart. I'd like to see him set up kicks with hands, maybe try and avoid the clinch, because every time he's engaged in the clinch, he has ended up in a disadvantage, a disadvantageous position. Here we go, Dickie Larkin, just waiting on the cage door, just to be bolted closed. Ask the fighters, are they ready? They are indeed. A touch of gloves, and round three is underway. Scott Harvey in the red corner, taking on Stuart Graham. There's that jab again from Harvey. Nice straight land out from Stuart Graham. Nice, nice short boxing there by Scott Harvey. Just again, almost to work in. Lovely. That's what I wanted to see from Stuart Graham. And an absolute bowler oh, of a takedown by Scott Harvey. That well in bold riding a power takedown. Beautiful work by Scott Harvey to get it back to the mat. You may look to establish crucifix position here and isolate both arms of Stuart Graham. He's going to try and isolate that. Maybe look right hand, hand left figure four grip. Left hand, he's sneaking it through. He has. Both men slippery at this stage, making a Kimura difficult. 
Still has a hold of that arm. And traps the right arm as well. Maybe Excellent look. work here by Scott Harvey. Still working for that Kimura step. There over it Kimura. is. Oh, it looks the tight. tap is ready tap. to go. Beautiful work. As soon as it locked up, you could see Shiro Crane just arch his arm up, ready to tap. And Scott Harvey puts on a beautiful, beautiful performance and getting it done in the third round via Kimura. Beautiful jiu-jitsu. Established the position, methodically worked for it, stepped over to the Kimura. That's the tap. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the Americans' cross-cut reaction of 102 seconds of round number three.